Good morning. I just thought I'd show you my journal I did for Kelly's Crafts. It's a project that I um, really enjoyed doing. I did a, a different technique with the cover. Everyone knows I love my gold. So at some stage I will do a tutorial on this cover. It's very flexible. It feels like leather. So yeah, I really like it. I like how it turned out. Now, instead of using Kelly's book page, I just dipped it into this envelope. Just a plastic see-through envelope because I didn't want to hide the fact that I had um, gold underneath. So this is called For the Love of Orchids. That just sits there for now. I still haven't worked out how to stick it down. And it, I'll just put it now, I'll put it aside. Well, actually, what I might do, because I did some in Fimba for it, and I haven't put it on. So, there you go. So that can be held by a paper clip. Like I said, it's a really, really interesting journal to do. I had fun with it. The backgrounds are... Tracy Fox's backgrounds. I really like using them as my backgrounds. I collaged the postcards. The beauty of this, it's got lots of ephemera, and I enjoy that. The journal measures about five and a half by eight and a half. And they're beautiful pictures. Again, I've done some collaging. I used a get check for my tuck. I used lace for my um, journaling cards. There's been a lot of sewing. In this journal, I used photo matte paper. A lot of people ask me why my digital kits are so clear well i use photo mats and i really like the paper it's not a heavy weight one it's double to the weight of your um uh, sorry i'm trying to think now it's double of the weight of your copy paper it's more sewing there a little bit of a collage. There's an envelope with a difference. It opens up and oh, it's got a little pad in it. Now, that's stitched in there. And it's also, I'll just close it back up. It's also the middle of the signature. And there's a tuck in there as well. There should be something in there, I think. I normally do put something in, or did I? No, I didn't. So, but there's, like I said, a tuck in there. Like I said, really enjoy, enjoyable journal to do. Now I might as well put another paper clip here. I really enjoy doing these. I haven't done these before. Well, I might have in the early days, but I haven't really been one to do them. But I think they go really well with this journal. Kelly had a lot of little stamps. The tags are actually from Tracy Fox. So yeah, this kit. It's gorgeous, just gorgeous.
just gorgeous pictures. Oops. And I just love how it turned out. I've left a lot of writing space. Um, there's a pocket. I haven't put it down, but it is sewn. So it could be put anywhere, but for now it can stay there. Again, I love the little lace I used and a bit of collage here and there. Just really love making it. Lots of journaling tags in this kit. And I'll put one more of those here. And I might tuck that in there. Because there is lots of them. <laughs> Some information about orchids. Again, these can be cut up and used, but I just thought I'd just tuck them in there. More journaling cards. I just love how it turned out. Really, really love it. Right. This is a envelope. And in it you can you can use it to tack in it. I just decided to use it just as a decorative envelope, I guess. Again, more journaling little spots and cards and tucks. She had me meaning to do some with I don't like doing my signatures this way. Um, and normally if I do I would make um, a centre page close it off but I didn't with this journal so that's called the love of orchids it really is a beautiful journal it's not a big journal again I've done some collaging and used my ephemera as tacks A lot of the pages have been really worked, so there's a lot of, um, I do a lot of work when I tea dye or my pages. I mainly tea dye. Again, there's various tucks, and the guest check is used as a tuck, so it's a tuck in there, tuck there. So there's a lot of spots for it. A lot of room to add your own ephemera. Again, I um, decorated um, part of a page and there's a tuck in there and you can write in there. It's actually, um, it should be a double envelope I thought, but I might be wrong. No, the tuck's in there. What have I done? Doesn't matter, I'll sort it out. A tuck in there, a tuck there. It's just a cute little book. And there's another pocket there. Like I said, I just thought leave something for the person who's um, going to be buying the kit. Oh. Journal, I should say. That's a cute little journal. I really, really enjoyed doing it. And um, I've got to thank Kelly for choosing me as her DT. Like I said, at some stage I will come up with a tutorial for this journal. And um, I will show you how to do the cover because it's really interesting and the feel of it too. I really love the feel of this cover. I've seen an empty pocket here somewhere and I'm trying to find it. 
But as you can see, it's just printing on photocopy pages is really, really good. I know it was here somewhere. Um, doesn't that annoy you? You see a blank spot, you want to fill it, but you can't find it. I hate blank spots. That's so cute. I really, really enjoyed this, Kelly. Thank you so much. Um, and I can't find the blank spot I seen just two seconds ago. How's that for you? It's not a big journal to what I normally would make. Oh, there's the spot. Yeah, so. I really like that and I love the grungy look and this literally feels like leather it's soft so yeah I enjoyed it I enjoyed making it and I'll be making more of the same at some stage and hopefully I'll be able to do a tutorial thanks for supporting me and watching me It's good to have the support of the junk journaling community. So, no, thank you, Kelly, again. And I hope you like what I've done. If you see, that's very shiny and it's so flexible. So, thank you, Kelly. Um, thanks, everybody. And, um, Stay tuned in. I've got more journals to show that have sit, been sitting there for a long time and I need to get them out. Bye.